Superintendent of Schools Curtis Coach with our weekly update. As I had shared in the past, we have now opened the School Tool Parent Portal Gradebook for parents, especially at our secondary level, to be able to see their assignments and their children's progress as teacher enter, teachers enter the grades in. I want to spend some time today just giving a quick tutorial for our families, showing you how you can access that in the School Tool Parent Portal. So I wanted to spend time this week sharing with our families how to find grades and assignments in the School Tool Parent Portal. This is the first time this year we'll be opening the Assignments tab where families will be able to see ongoing assignments for your child's progress. This will primarily affect our families at the middle school and the high school, but for our families new to the Parent Portal at Scotchtown and GIS, you can follow along for future information as well. So we're going to start right here on our main page of the Goshen Central School District. You would scroll down to the bottom under Quick Links where it says School Tool Parent Portal and you're going to go ahead and click there. That then opens up our secondary page for a School Tool Parent Portal where you'll be able to find the link to get into the interface for the Parent Portal and you'll go ahead and click on where it says Log In to School Tool Parent Portal. You'll go ahead and you'll type in the email related with your Parent Portal account. I'm going to put in mine just for purposes of the demonstration. You'll put in your password. And then you'll go ahead and click log in. If you feel like you have forgotten, you need additional assistance, you can go ahead on new user and or forgot password to get additional guidance to guide you through. So after logging in, you'll get an image of either one child, if you only have one in the district, or all of your children will show up that you'll be able to go in and access their record. So to be able to get where we want to, to be able to view these records, you're going to go ahead over here on the side and click on where it says view student record. It has this small image of a photo with a, a image or a hologram in the background, but if you mouse over it, it will say view student record. You'll go ahead and click there. And then it will bring you to where you'll see several tabs, contacts, you'll be able to see all the contacts listed on your school tool account, your child's schedule, their regular attendance, grades will bring you to marking period grades primarily or quarter grades. And then finally, the new edition where we want to spend our time today is looking at assignments. So we'll go ahead and we'll click there. That will open up where you'll see a default for the current school year, which you can actually make a change to if you want to try to look back. But after the school year finishes, you would no longer be able to see prior year. You can change the quarter or the marking period. And then here all the way over on the right, what is very helpful is you can either view all the courses at the same time, or if you're interested in just seeing a particular class, you're able to limit it just to that course. So. For example, if I click on algebra, I'm going to limit my view to just math. If I wanted to look at bio, again, we're just using one student as an example. They would limit it to the biology class, world history, any of the above, you'd be able to see what the teacher has posted at any given time. Again, as this is new, we wanted to go ahead and share this with our family so you knew how to access the information. We hope this is helpful. And most importantly, if you have any questions at all, we encourage families to reach out directly to your teachers on what you were seeing in the portal so that that communication between home and our teachers continues to be fluid and open so that we can best service our students. We hope this has been very helpful this week. And as always, Goshen, thank you for everything, and we look forward to seeing you next time.